It is heading to the voters. A ballot question to decrease property taxes through state TABOR refunds. It's a controversial measure that El Paso County and others sued over. KRDO News Channel 13's Tyler Cunnington is live to explain what both sides are saying tonight. Tyler. Yeah, Bart, Proposition HH aims to lower residential and commercial property valuations, but in return, it would use a small portion of your TABOR funds to make up the funds that property taxes usually provide to local governments. Those who oppose it call it unconstitutional and that it won't actually help families. Today, the state's highest court said it cannot make a ruling on the reduced property taxes and voter-approved revenue change ballot measure unless it becomes a real law. I don't think that it should be where we have to vote on something that might or might not be constitutional. I think that that should be decided before it goes to voters. Supporters of the measure argue that with the recent spike in property valuations, there's really no other choice. Which is not only constitutional, but in our opinion, is the only way to provide immediate tax relief for people especially those who really are already maybe on the brink and can't afford the increased cost of living. If passed by Coloradans in November, Prop HH would lower residential property valuations by $50,000 this year and would lower commercial property values by just 0.05%, but decreasing by 3% by the end of the decade. It locks in property tax savings for literally everybody and guarantees that and uh, provides targeted relief to people who need it the most, like seniors and working families. However, Advanced Colorado, one of the main plaintiffs in the lawsuit that was shot down, says your TABOR refunds would be at risk. We don't think this provides uh, very much property tax relief at all. We're still gonna have the highest uh, increase in property taxes ever, even if HH passes. Now, Fenberg says that average cost to your TABOR for each resident would be about $33. But voters will ultimately decide on November 7th. Tyler Cunnington, Cardio, News Channel 13. We will see. Tyler, thanks.